Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Get Into It. I'm Ramona Remesat, intuitive guidance coach and personal trainer for your intuition. And ta-da, we're in this beautiful new space. Well, it's my backyard. <laughs> and it's such a nice day today and we've had so much rain that I wanted to get out here before another storm hits and just share this beautiful space with you and I don't know if you can hear in the background my waterfall um, it's kind of back there I don't know how I can maybe if I get out of the way and that right there that you just heard is my bird uh, we've been having a red-winged blackbird come visit us daily several times daily and so I started to put some seed out so he comes and sings for us and has some seeds and it's pretty cool I also wonder if you can hear the lawnmowers and weed whackers and all that kind of stuff. And as I like figures, they would be doing that right when I'm about to go outside and do my live stream. But then I laughed and I thought that's perfect because that totally ties in with what I want to share with you guys today. So once again, the universe delivers just the perfect message at the perfect time when you need it. So as you know, I believe that our intuition is a muscle and in order for us to fully trust our intuition, we need to have a strong intuitive muscle. And the only way you can get there is if you use it. You have to practice using it. And the way we receive messages from our intuition is the same way we receive information from our surroundings. It's things we see, it's things we hear, it's things we feel. And so by enhancing our senses, we can build our intuitive muscle. So today specifically, I wanna to talk to you guys about hearing and how you can strengthen your hearing. So some things that you can do are just closing your eyes wherever you are and listening to all the different things that you can hear. So again, this is a perfect example. We're outside, you might hear the wind blowing through the trees right now. You might hear the lawnmower going, you might hear the birds singing in the background, the water, the burbling um, sound of the waterfall, right? So it's just fine tuning our hearing, like really listening, not just hearing, but listening. And another great intuition exercise that you can do to help you with your hearing is to actually um, put the TV on at a lower than normal volume or some kind of music so that you're almost like straining to hear what it is that that piece of music is or what that what's going on in that TV show, right? You can also, like I have an open concept home, so a lot of times I'll be in the kitchen doing stuff. I can have the TV on in the adjacent uh, great room and, um, you know, have it on in another room, but be trying to figure out like, what song is that? Or what TV show is that? right without really seeing it or knowing what it is now you want to always validate so go back and check to see if you were right um, but that's another easy takes hardly any time doesn't cost anything intuition exercise that you can do right that's really gonna help you hone that part of your intuitive senses so you're hearing so those are a couple of things you can play around with um, like I said, yeah, just have fun with it and practice, practice, practice. That's all it really is. Everybody has intuition. It's not just a gift bestowed on the chosen ones, you know, at birth, the sprinkled fairy dust on them. We all have it, but it's like we all have muscles. Some people choose to develop those muscles and make them strong and other people choose not to. Right? So it's the same thing with intuition. You can choose to develop that part of yourself or you can choose not to. So the way that you get better is by practicing and exercising your intuition muscle. So I hope that feels helpful and makes sense. And um, yeah, if you thought it was helpful, share it out because other people, you know, I'm hoping they'd want to have strong intuition too. The whole point of intuition is to make life easier. It's like a GPS. It's pointing you in the right direction. So rather than you waste a lot of time and energy going all over the place, trying to get where you're going, you just follow the directions of your GPS. And it's easy and it's no stress, right? It's like using your GPS in your car. A lot easier following those instructions than back in the day before we had that in our car. So you remember what that was like, right? A little bit stressful when you had to go somewhere you've never been before. 
So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Take it and run with it. And I did want to let you know, I will not be on live next week. I will be away. So you can watch for me the following week. Um, so in the meantime, practice, practice, practice. This is giving you lots of time to practice, okay? So get out there, do it. Scroll through the feed here and you'll see some previous episodes that you might have missed or you can go to my youtube page it's youtube.com forward slash connect then the number two your angels so connect to your angels is my facebook page or sorry my youtube channel and i post all my videos there so you can take a look around and uh, find some things to practice with guys all right so enjoy have a great couple of weeks and we'll see you back here in July. Take care.